Back again. This time, just walk through U Tree Farm, is it? The aim of getting uh, home fell. Not the best night last night. I got three hours sleep. A definite high point was a nice, uh, a nice pint of Bluebird at the Britannia. Just parked up at Glen Mary Car Park. Horrific car parking charges. Uh, what were it? Five for two hours, seven quid for four. Crazy. Very short road section from the car park. Uh, <laughs> brutal busy and uh, not very wide, let's say. Uh, very, very wet this morning. Oh, and uh, as I think I've made clear on pretty much every video, absolutely terrified of cows. And the first section between entering U Tree Farm and a gate that I passed just before starting filming. Signs of cows everywhere. Hoof marks, crap everywhere. And yeah, didn't see a sign of them, so I don't know if they're sort of within the farm or elsewhere, but <laughs> very nearly turned back. Just hoping that wherever they are now, whoa, they are still very much there <laughs> when I come back down. Not even. Whoa. Not even started with any elevation at all, and it's just horrible underfoot. Right, I'm gonna put it back down again for now because I need to find which path I need to take on this fork. So, yeah. Right, so, in no time at all, that bit you can see just at the top where the green turns to brown. That is where the path diverges into about eight different paths. And it's the, well, I suppose it doesn't, oh, sorry, I'm just careful where I put my feet here. It doesn't, we don't have to take one specific path, but we need to take the left hand path so that we sort of come back on ourselves and then reach uh, home path from there. I think it's Ivy Crag that you come to first. Uh, then Homefell's just a bit further down. I've got my drill with me on the front, but I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to get it out or not. Because <laughs> I've got. Uh, I mean, after this, I'm doing Lingmore Fell anyway and Side Pike, which obviously isn't way right, but I quite fancy giving Fat Man's Agony a go. Um, but. I'm thinking maybe to, instead of taking my time up here, go back to the car, get, get back down to Elta Waters all the way, and then walk over to Grasmere, have a little bimble about in Grasmere, come back, because friends not getting here till six. It's not going to take me six hours, or seven hours to uh, do a more Fallon back. Plus I can't book into the campsite till 12, so I'm in two minds whether to uh, pitch up before going to Lingmore. But I did tell my friend that I was going to uh, wait for her, but it sounds like there's a fair few uh, fields. So someone pitching up next to me and not giving aerospace into too much of an issue with these bloody bugs. All right, so. We've come to where it diverges, and oh my god, look at the views. Ah, oh, that'll be Ivy Craig, I'm guessing. 
try to get my bearings. Look at Langdale Pikes. I can't, <laughs> can't figure out which way around I'm. It's been a while since I've been down here. I'll have a look and come back. Well, if I'm right, that is Lingmore Fell. Hello. I'm getting absolutely swarm now, so I'm getting up to Home Fell. Oh. See you when I'm up there. Just reached the top of Ivy Crag. These are the views that you get. Stunning. Really lovely day. Mid just starting now, now I've got sweat on. But uh oh, that might be past on on Bell. Uh oh yeah. I mean this would be a pretty amazing camping spot. Pretty much perfectly flat. Soft underfoot. <sighs> kind of relatively sheltered. Oh yeah, let's get on to Homefell. Oh, there we go, Homefell. What a lovely summit. The path I've just took up for the final bit, I will not be taking back down. I terrify me GoPro we're gonna come out of here. Definitely not a walk up, but we were only a tiny, tiny bit, so happy with that. Just absolutely lovely. Some cloud cover over there, but it's not reached over here yet. Probably have that joy to come to up uh, Lingmore, Lingmore Fell. Uh, but yeah, if battery allows, I'll, I'll uh, film a little bit, bit of me walking back down before we get into the forest a bit. But other than that, we'll be on our way up Side Pike and Lingmore Fell.
Well, made it to Langdale campsite. Obviously, home fell ticked off. And bloody hell, the weather's turned. <sighs> Elter Water's lovely. Three miles down the road, it's clagged into hell. It's just started, just started raining. Not worse than rain when it's weather's still warm. We're here at Langdale Valley here. It's just clagged, clagged right in. It's, I believe that's biker sickle up there, just in the clouds. But yeah, trap down there, it's literally from the campsite, in the middle of the campsite. Uh, I think where I'm parked is just the other side of them trees there. And there. Uh, Side pike is up there. Similar height to Home Fell, but straight off the bat, this is steep. So, looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting back and getting dry as well. Get a few beers open. Friends come in at six. I found, found out here, absolute signal black spot. There's no signal whatsoever anywhere. Uh, so yeah, I've sent a text rather than one online messages, so maybe that'll get through eventually when, maybe when I get up here, but I've said so I'll get to the reception at six, tell the barrier gate number, and uh, hit and hope. So yeah, let's crack on. Having a bit of a breather up there. Not far off side pipe now. It's uh, very wet but the sun's come back out. Uh, slippy in places, boggy. But views, views are opening up a bit. Probably uh, side pipe's probably gonna be alright, but having said that. I think they're lifted. Couldn't see that much of Pike's Tickle before. And that's a similar similar uh, height to Lee Marfell. We shall see, it'd be good if it does open up. Yeah, but then pretty much where I've come from. Just, oh, I can't see it now because I've come up with Blea Tarn just over that way. But yeah, it's a bit rocky now so. I have to take a bit of care, so I'll put this back away. Probably uh, check back in closer to Fat Man's Agony. There you go, eh? Get your chops around that for a view. There's a campsite. A fire in there, just at gaps in them trees. The car's down there. I'm pitched yet. With how moody it with the turn, I just wanted to get up and back down. Cause I wasn't really in mood for this. A bit of bit of weather. I went weather turned up with like the already set my tent up and just dive in it, but if the forecast is right this week, this weekend, then I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in it as it is. Turning out lovely. The cloud is lifted. There's a pack of stickle there on Loft Crag that I think is that pavy in the middle. Yeah. That went in view halfway up onwards so it's definitely lifted. Oh, it's moving that side. I know when I parked my car at, uh, when I got past the car after home fell, I could I could see the clouds drifting at some pace. So they must have been pushing over this way. But yeah, there's a side back up there. I believe that stone little out little little off bit of stone, I believe that's Fat Man's agony. So, and bimble across and get it done and then on to Lingmore.
That man. Finally, good luck there of uh, Bleatown. So, where we've come from, some side bike. Took a long time to find Pac Man's Agony. How ridiculous. Uh, my own fault. It's been quite a while since I researched this route. And, uh, let's pick this up. Uh, yeah, I always thought. You did the, uh, you did Fat Man's Agony first and then made your way to the summit. So when I got up and I could see the summit, I'm like, this is weird, what's happened here? It wasn't until I dropped down. This group of girls were doing, obviously, same happened to them. So we've ended up finding it together. And then, <laughs> yeah, I was chatting to one of them. Perhaps. How do I say this without sounding weird? Aesthetically pleasing, let's say. Absolutely lovely girl. Just chatting away. And then before I know it, we're sort of halfway back down. I'm thinking, oh no, you're not doing Lingmore, are you? She went, no, no, we're about to take a car. <laughs> so, bit of extra ascent, ascent there, never hurt anybody, is it? <laughs> but, yeah, I've also found a way to come back without it being an out and back. Although to be fair, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be upset if I had to go back the way I've come. That, to say that's not a win, right? That is, is lovely. Like, exposure and heights are something that for a long time I've wanted to work on. Um, and I wouldn't say by most people's thoughts that any part of that is exposed or a proper scramble but for me it was really good a couple of bits where you sort of on an edge but you never feel like you're gonna fall off at all like that and there were definitely a few bits where you had to use your hands and there's an absolute ton of different routes you can go up really enjoyed that so see most of langdale pipes there in the glory maybe that's uh, stickle gill just there so yeah, like I said, I found a different route back, so from Lingmore there's almost a direct path down to Bleatarn and skirt around the outside of that, follow this road and that leads to the road from, I think where I first filmed, where I, where I, had, me, um, where I had my waterproof on and that's where the, the path leads again and then it's just the same track down to the campsite so we're going to head for that I had a phone call from my friend because they signal up here uh, so, I don't think time is against me, but military planes. Oh, wow! Happy with that. <laughs> Don't know why, but even though you can see him and you know that the sound is going to come after they've gone, I'm still like this when they go past. It's breathtaking. It's amazing. Even closer than the one at Bakes. So I might. I've got a new phone and camera's a lot better, so I might sit here with my camera out ready for him to come back again. Because if it's not like Bakes or where we're at first time, Coniston Fells in December, they'll be coming around again. Crystal clear that. All right, anyway, bye for now.
much to it. Lovely. as well earlier on I said that there wasn't much height difference in Lingmore and uh, <laughs> Langdale Pikes uh, <laughs> I beg to differ oh it's a lovely breeze the weather's completely turned again so I'm glad the tide has come up lovely back on ground level see uh, I don't I can't remember if that's the actual summit point I think it is uh, Lingmore fell there Got side pike just here really rated side pike really enjoyed it definitely do it again uh, towards Blee Town the route I was going to take sort of took you around the outside of it but then when I saw the path to here and it leads that's the track I was talking about and it leads at the same point and I thought there's no point doing extra walking to go around around back of there to then come this way anyway so that is the gate where I turned off a side pike so that's uh, the three stragglers done so yeah I'll end it now I'll probably do a little bit of footage of walking back down because I don't think I've got any out way up but yeah thank you for watching the uh, next one is Bowfell area. See you soon.